Welcome everybody! Welcome back to Comb Bros, or Bro Hive, or Bro Hive or Comb Bros, where we play an awesome or not so awesome game, and we all agree this game's pretty awesome. It is indeed, my friend. We mind. have Casey, and we have Jin. John from Jab TV. Woo! I'm Colin. It's Colin! <laughs> Alright, so, um, have any of you beaten this game, uh, from the beginning? Well, I can tell you from my, uh, past expertise that I have no idea what this game is. Okay. I don't even own a Wii U. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> what? You don't have a Wii U? No. Last <laughs> from her. Wait, can Galactic I play? Day. Galactic Day. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink oh, of Oh, wait. Ruin. Don't skip it. But the planet's to think of name, Kofi. Due to a booming population, booming I know the voice, and a basic lack of planning, Kofi's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Wah, wah. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Oops. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. No. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. Kofi's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Space travel oh, dude. This it's is so strange. I'm loving it. Something you'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love Star Trek. As Wait. They initiate the landing sequence, oh. something goes horribly wrong. Something. They're gonna burn up in the atmosphere. Da, da. <laughs> oh my god, it's game okay, over, guys! Okay, I guess that's it! Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god. Oh, They're gonna burn up in the atmosphere. I love Bernie, Bernie, die, yeah. Oh, Charlie. Goodbye. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, right, because there's three people that we gotta yeah. do. And no Olimar. Oh. <gasps> what? Yeah, Olimar? you don't Olimar. play as Olimar Sorry. in this game. You play as Alf and these two other. The one guy looked like Olimar. Yeah, Alf, yeah, Alf looks like Olimar. Is that his son? No, <gasps> they have no relation. They are literally Aww. from different planets. Even the tough one looks adorable. I know, right? His name's He's Charlie. Like, he looks like Mr. T. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Actually, you can voice him, and then I'll voice <laughs> Alf. And... Of course, this must be PNF 404. Uh, 404, planet not found. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, see. Charlie oh, to ship. Oh, Charlie to ship. Oh, okay. Do you copy, seniors? Uh, oh, this oh. is your capitan. Repeat. Do you copy? Copy! 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 Casey's dog just walked in. Ow, ow! You picked a very bad route of over my knees. <laughs> and Casey's back. Hello? Casey's back. Hola! And you are now. No, there's no response! Where's my ship? My crew? Oh, he's the captain. Captain mm, Charlie. Captain, captain Charlie. Oh, yes. Yeah, right there, Captain. But what about the rest of my crew? And seriously, who the fuck am I talking to? <laughs> <laughs> they could be anywhere on PNF 404. And they could be dying if I could just stop talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find and I only hope they survive. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I know immediately he was gonna walk like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? What in the? Strange. 
You can move around the cursor as you're doing this. As you're, as you're throwing them. And ZR to use your whistle to call them back. Oh my gosh, my my voice was actually really. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna voice him anymore. I can run about these things. Mm -hmm. Just in case you missed it, even though you just did it, this is this is how the game works. So are you gonna go get that thing right there? You gotta move the thing and then, yeah. Now throw him at it. Oh wait, uh, wrong one. No, oh god, dude! Call him back! All the other ones over there. Call him. Okay, now throw him. There you go! Perfect. So, oh me and god. Colin are gonna be alternating, and John is going to be our amazing backseat driver, and probably he's gonna play at some point. I'm the third wheel! He's the third wheel! Call him back! Alright! You're, I you're, feel like I know how this game works. He's, John's the backseat driver. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know how this game works. ZL will make, let me see what is in front of me. Or I could look at it. That works too. This is a beautiful cave. It is kind of beautiful. Look at it. It's so nice. Oh. And they're like. <laughs> okay, so I have one question, and this is like. Oh, no, spooky scary cave. Now. Oh. What are those? No, please. <laughs> no. All right, so kill him. All right, so I have a question regarding like the proportions of like your character and the rest of the world. It's like, is your character like ridiculously small? Yeah. Or is, yes. Like, why is that? Do we know? Is there like any <gasps> backstory? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Ooh. Oh no! What happened? Exploration day one. Alf's crash site. There you go. Right, KC is now. now in control. Oh my gosh, what's Alf's voice going to be? I'm I'll actually... do Alf's voice. Oh god! <laughs> Oh, see, he landed in a nice spot. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, he sounds like me! Ugh, good. <laughs> what? Oh, my sinus... Hey, boom, that's her ship. My sinuses, why did I have to l land in such a damn area? <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? <laughs> Can I come in? It's so nice in there. <laughs> it's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Ugh. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not okay out here. It's now! <laughs> I'm gonna drown, even though I have a helmet on. Yeah, so <laughs> just as the SS train was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the, the chaos, SS3. I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. I already know this. Why am I talking to myself about it? It's up to me, Al, to find the SS Drake crew members. The SS Drake. I'm gonna go for a swim, though, first. The SS Drake, powered, of course, by the Canadian rapper. <laughs> okay. Off for, for, for liftoff. 
Start it from the bottom now, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Start it from the bottom now, my whole damn Gasp. fucking yeah. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> what was that? I better go see what that was. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm trying to give him. Oh, what is that? It, it looks trying like, to like. It looks like the bottom of a gas mask. <laughs> oh. What? It is something that look. It looks like they're trying to eat that. Oh, I think it's a cranberry or something. <laughs> Cranberries. <laughs> I know, not too many game girls for our mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's one of their pods. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, uh, so this is what's called an onion. This and is... And it is the Pikmin's basic... Basically, it's their mothership. This is sickeningly cute. I know, right? Oh, look! There's one over here! Get over here. None See, the... um, in, in Pikmin 2 other... and Pikmin 1, they had a, uh... Or maybe it was just Pikmin 2. They had a, uh... A what? control option called the C-Stick. And, like, okay. when you had huge hordes of Pikmin, you could just... They would, like run around you and whatever they would touch they would like immediately go to so i if i was in this and i had like uh seven pikmin and i use a c stick to all like uh push them into it they would all immediately like be assigned to that task oh, okay so this is a multitasking game and as you can see these guys are placing uh, building this little bridge one by one. Oh, what is that it's a Wii U gamepad i was My just about pad. to say that <laughs> thank goodness i found it i can use it to locate the ss drake Better make this bridge, though. Yeah, so the Pikmin are right now building this little bridge. Oh, is that what they're doing? That's exactly <laughs> what they're doing. I couldn't tell. <laughs> you know what? I was not aware. <laughs> I, Colin, I thought... you're so damn sassy. I am just so... I am just... <laughs> I am just spry with sassiness today. <laughs> spry with sassiness. Okay. Yeah, so now we did it. Yeah. Yeah, Casey, how dare you invite me into your home and let me play your video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. I guess I should have known my place. I found a thing. Yeah, that that thing is like the entire size of him. That is... <laughs> it is. And yet he holds it up like Great, a small... Great, it still hole. works. I drink my shenanigans by tapping and sliding cuphead screen. Where's the Drake? It's probably right over there, guys. There it is. Well, what was the captain doing? He's not actually speaking Japanese, is he? No. I think so. No, he's not. Don't Maybe it's like... Alright, so, um, I think you, might got, you guys might already know this, but, um, Pikmin grab things, and, uh, they grab, like, a bunch of little items. And like that one? Yeah, and then they- what happens is they bring them back to the onion. And this happens. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. More Pikmin? Yeah, so it makes more Pikmin. Aww. And now you can build up your amazing, like, Army of Pikmin. Pikmin. Yeah, that's basically what the game's about. You can't have more than, um, uh, 100 out on the field, though, so it's all about, like, uh, Pikmin management. Red I know they're so cute. They're so like reflective. Look at them. <laughs> I will serve you forever. I will be your slave. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he dies. No, I don't care. Which is sad, but I mean, he, he, so he, whatever he, they do, your they death eat... will be meaningless to me. Yeah. I will find <laughs> another flower. And... Oh my god! And, uh, basically, I mean, like that's the first one that was ever made, and they're just like, yeah, okay, you're probably gonna die. Uh, these guys cannot destroy. They are. Uh, I forget what they're called. Each thing in this game has. Each enemy in this game has a name, and uh, usually I know what they are, but. Um... The Pikmin just die. No, no, no. Um. That little ghost means that, uh, an enemy died. Oh. It's, yeah. Oh, five Pikmin. Yeah. And I think it's even more if you have, um, if you have, if, if it's the right color. 
of Pikmin, and this one's red, so, um... So you're gonna get, like, ten. It should be, yeah, well, I don't know if it's ten, but it should be a pretty good amount. And, yeah, so that's the basic gist of Pikmin. So, have... Was that the first uh, time for any of you? Um, have you seen okay. I yeah, I yeah. played Pikmin 2 for like 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, that is... Yeah. Pikmin 2, in my opinion, is the best game in the franchise. Even can. though this one, like, created, like, really good, like, multitasking options on the gamepad. Although, this, I'll say for so Pikmin great. 2, I would have liked to see... Like to have seen um, co-op. Like, split-screen co-op, since you could play as Louie and Olimar. Yeah, well, there's, um, multiplayer. Yeah, there's in, multiplayer, in game, but there's yeah, not split-screen co-op. Co well, this game isn't co-op, I either. love co-op. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Co-op in any game is amazing. Let's see how many that made. Oh, just Four. five. Oh, no, I think it's... I guess it's less if you get the color that's not yours. Like, if, if yellow Pikmin brings back... Like a five thing that's red. Yeah, that's, that's red. It's probably not... It's gonna give them, like, three or something. Or like half, or like one. Yeah. Alright, Oh, that's so. a bit, uh, it's a box. That's why a is max. It, why is everything so much bigger than the characters? I wanna because play. the characters are small. That's the whole thing. Like, this, every, you're really tiny. This game makes me want to be tiny. Yeah, just right? Just so I can, just so I can experience the wonders of tininess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that it wouldn't be... I mean, I mean, you'd be crushed and eaten, but... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess... It's bad, but, like, it would be interesting, to say the least. Yeah. The, the whole thing... That, that... Okay, Pikminology. This... The onion gives a nest for Pikmin. It both <laughs> gives birth and provides them with shelter. Okay. Th this and the movie Ant-Man, both. Oh, I Guys, have not seen you, that movie. If you have not I... seen Ant-Man, it's so good. Oh, my God. It's... I... I've been. I didn't see um, Age of Ultron. I didn't either. We we have just, to go. That movie was amazing. I saw it. Just because. Oh, let's all go see it. That <laughs> it came out at a time where I just didn't have time. To I see saw it like movies. a second time on the trip from Israel. Which, by the way, Casey wanted me to tell you guys. Oh that yeah, we, John went let's to say Israel. That, let's save that for the next episode because we're going on 17 minutes. Here. Okay, so all uh, Israel stories next next episode. So then. stick around if you want to see the Israel story. Okay, we're going at 17 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, um, in this game, these are little hiding spots, and if you go under them, all your little Pikmin get hidden. I never <gasps> really used them in the game. Can you, like, um... But, uh, yeah, can you, so... Like, can you, like, leave them there, or do they, like, have to follow you? Um, well, the like, thing about this game them. is that it has a sunset kind of thing. Oh, no. Um, so, during... Uh, the whole thing about this, um, this planet, PNF4 for Earth, is, um... Very hostile at night. Most of the creatures that you encounter are nocturnal. Right. So you, if only if you bother them during the day will they attack you, which is like the only time you'll ever be able to see them. You won't be able to play at night. But um, um, what happens is that at night, so so many creatures come out, and Pikmin are so like vulnerable to these creatures that they have to hide in their onions at night. So that's what happens. And um, so you have to go back. That's when the day ends. So if you leave any Pikmin out on the field... They die. They die, yeah. And, and if they're not, like, within your area... Or, um... Or with you, they will die. And it's, like, really sad because when you're, like, leaving for sunset, you can see them running around, and, like, a creature will come to, like, eat them. It's, like, <laughs> it's really... It makes you like, feel so no. bad. And there's even a counter of how many Pikmin died to sunset. So it's, like... Oh, my God! Yeah, it's, like... Yeah. Oh, God, what happened? Who's calling us? Who could it be? Is it the chief? Which is the chief? Oh, oh it's Brittany! Oh, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? I'm holding the gamepad up to um the, the screen, so maybe we it can hear it. I don't know, it, it, it was playing through the TV earlier. Well, it's not playing right now. Oh. I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm oh, starved. That's not good. Uh oh, Skedios. Oh no, we got it cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful she appears to be safe and sound. You're not happy that, like, your captain might Meanwhile, not... Meanwhile, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just things are just eating her life. What's that strange I sure am glad she's safe. It's not a in which we the nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off to your planet's surface for now. Where should I hide? The giant spaceship? No. <laughs> uh, hide under a leaf. Okay, you guys can do okay, that. And the Pikmin, I guess, went back to their onion. Um, I didn't know that you could just leave them there. 
So this game, um, you'll notice in comparison to other Pikmin games, is beautiful. It's like an amazing. It's just the, them graphics. This is like the first. Like, Holy shit, them graphics! Oh, yeah, the Pikmin with you. Yeah, yeah. So the Pikmin follow you and the onion. And in previous games, there was like one onion for each Pikmin, except for the purple and white Pikmin. That uh. So they would end up shit. like dead. No, no, no. They're not dead. They're, they're still alive. You just don't see them in this game. But there are two new Pikmin. There's three days worth of edible preservations left. The blueberry juice. What is that? What is that? That's the question of the day. What what provisions did they bring? Do you have a jar of that over there? Is that what that's supposed to be? No, no, oh. I, I made that in the class. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Now they do a log every day. We're ship back on the planet. Some creatures called Pigmen help me find the SS Street, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. Wait, how are you driving the thing? <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> we won't go away with that. <laughs> okay, well, the thing is, the cosmic drive key allows them to leave the atmosphere and go Oh, back to the so he's not. So the cosmic drive key is just gone somewhere, so they're stranded until they can find it. Their goal. You need to find that in like two days? No, well, no. The, um. the Okay, so the basic thing is you find fruit. And you you fill up um you fill up little juice packets of fruit juice and that one juice packet equals one day you can oh, okay. play so it's like a really well made thing. Where's Charlie? I want to play again. Charlie is stranded in some other. He's somewhere. What the heck? Where's? It it blacked out again. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it'll you got it on perfectly. capture. Garden of Hope. Okay, and this is where Brittany is, and we're going to go and get Brittany. Is that Australia? Uh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. But it's like connected with another it's thing. It, it's connected I, with Antarctica. Look at that. Uh, well, maybe it's like pre. No, it's maybe it's like Pangaea. It, yeah, maybe another like Pangaea. Pangaea Remember, like, the continents are always moving. Yeah. Yeah, but look at that. That's clearly Antarctica. Yeah. And that's very clearly Australia. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. All right. I didn't know it was Earth. Yeah, I didn't know either. I never really noticed that. Huh, okay. Um Isn't that like the same planet that they left? Oh uh... Yeah, but um they don't they don't even know Almar or Louis. Ever. Like this is their first time to this planet. Okay, so the onions here the onions are a bit more creepy in this thing because it goes like it has no. these like, it has tendrils these, like, of weirdness. Yeah. So I hope you here before it's too late. What could this be? It looks like the onion has followed me here. So what is it Pikmin? You're in the onion, Louis. you fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright, 1920. We just keep one, just in case I lose everyone. Okay, we get it. Alright, everybody except Johnson, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why can't I come with you? Johnson! <laughs> oh, Johnson, you're an idiot. Oh, look, there's a little bullboard. A dwarf bullboard. Which, fun fact, they're actually a species of bread bug and not bullboard. They use mimicry to uh, make them look like they're uh, a bulbor. This this was yeah, serious go to heaven. Bulbors don't go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so and, like Johnson's watching this from the window. He's like, can I shoot it? No. No. no don't Johnson. shoot that window, Johnson. 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 You can't break these. We left the guns in there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> also, why did we not take them out? <laughs> Why did we leave Johnson with every weapon possible? And also, why didn't we take any and we have to throw ourselves at things to kill them? Okay, so apparently so These are all, like, really important questions that we are asking ourselves. <laughs> I think there's a, uh, a bridge we have to build, but we found a pile, but that's not all of the things in one pile. So Maybe we you gotta, gotta destroy go... a castle! Yeah, yeah, it's a sand castle. I wanna kill that butterfly? Die! No! It's dead. Oh, it was an enemy. It was beautiful. Well, it didn't. It so went... gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Turns it into. Like, like, just like grows like massive, like, teeth jaws. Oh, <laughs> so many Pikmin on that. It's kind of weird looking. Goddamn Mongolian! <laughs> Goddamn <laughs> Mongolian! <laughs> it's my shitty wall! <laughs> it's my shitty wall! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, there's Mongolians! Oh my gosh. Goddamn Mongolians! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a great one. I love it. That was a shitty stream. 
We're, refer <laughs> we're, we're referencing South Park right now. Oh my gosh. And noticed. if you think South Park is offensive, uh... That it is. Fuck, it is. It's <laughs> satire. supposed to be. Satire it's is offensive. It's supposed to be. Satire. They're is little offensive. paper cutout people. Of course it's offensive. <laughs> also, How satire is always offensive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little... I, I meant to say it's a little paper cutout, people. Why do you take it serious? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know it's made by... You're saying Paper people. Mario is offensive? I'm not... Huh? You're uh -oh. saying Paper Mario is offensive? Uh, yes. And offensively, how easy of a game it is. <laughs> oh, no, that's that's not an uh, easy game. It's an easy game. Not in Bowser's Castle. Maybe. All right. That's... Let's break down this wall. It's invisible. <laughs> oh, it's too hard to break down. We can't do anything about that. I need to throw a specific type of Pikmin. Oh, How do white, you know that? The white it's a rock. Pikmin. It's and, a rock. I know we gotta it's just throw rock. rocks at it. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, oh, okay. So that's a normal bulb orb, which is not it is a member of the Grub Dog family. I think we can sneak up on it. I'm gonna give you freaking useless facts all the time. Bulbobs um, <laughs> will eat you and kill you if you if you wake them up. <laughs> I think their weak point is the eye. They'll like flinch for a second if you in this game. Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh god! god. <laughs> oh yeah, see, I hit him in the eye, and he's like, "Oh god, that hurts!" Oh god! Oh, oh the ants. not the ants again! <laughs> no, no, the bees! Ah! Oh, Especially because that. this is Bro Hive, we, we're not. This is something we don't do. It's I like, will. I will. Do however, not reference Nicolas Cage. In however, it wasn't no, Nicolas no, Cage. No, no. Yes. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it was. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was Nicolas. <laughs> that is a very it. famous Nicolas Cage scene. Yeah. That's like the thing he's Shows associated you. most. Most, <laughs> except for. I'm gonna steal it. We're gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> no, wait, what? What, what movie was that? I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Oh, National yeah. Treasure! <laughs> what do you mean? I, I didn't hear you. Like, or... I will I will take any other Nicolas Cage reference, such as... He's scraping at the door! <laughs> scraping at the door! Wasn't he, uh, uh Ghost Rider? Yeah, too? that's what it's from. Yeah. Oh. It's Ghost Rider 2, actually. God, Idris Elba's in that movie. <laughs> Who was? Idris Elba. I don't know any actors. Like, yeah. fun fact about yeah, me, I don't, I, I don't know any actors, people, or comedians. Like, hey, a, real comedians, a Robert Downey obviously. Jr. is like the- Oh, look, it's Britney, guys! Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's dead. oh no! Britney's just lying Get over. there! <laughs> I hope it's not too late! <laughs> Pick um, up, Britney! Dude, Pick up! Dude, don't die right, on me now! You're, you're right, right there! Still be <laughs> What the fuck? Why you wake me, brother? No, they're not brothers. I'm sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. Are you close by? Um, yes. Yeah. What I'm was that movie you ask? <laughs> well, you know me. I have pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. Giant, like, snaggrit just, like, <laughs> eats her. <laughs> None of you know what a snaggrit is. It's just, like, like right, comment and bird. subscribe. <laughs> birds! Would you Hello, birds! Oh, yeah. I'm play games with birds. Don't worry. That oh, Pikmin 2 has more bosses than this game. This game like treats bosses like actual bosses. Like each each um uh like ending area has one boss. Like so oh, this cool. I think this uh this map has like a boss and there's like only one boss. See in Pikmin 2, what happened was there were these like cave dungeons you could go into, and each one of them would have a boss at the end. Oh. And, like, each one of those bosses was really cool. And they were super awesome. Oh my god, 29 minutes! We are, like, almost... Oh, like, god. we're, like, several... I think we gotta cut... All right. Yeah, yeah okay, I um, think we gotta cut I'll this see you guys off. later. Um, Israel Stories next time! Thanks for watching! Oh, yeah, Israel Stories next time. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to, uh... <laughs> it's fine. Destroy, like, our time. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Meet us next time on Bro Hive. We're probably gonna be eating honey. No, we don't.